Hi, I'm Meg Ramsey. And wow, what a day today. I had a chance to hang out at Washington Square Park with Ghost and Guitars. And now I'm standing in front of Southpaw in Brooklyn to speak with Noble Society to find out what inspires them about what they do. Let's check it out and see what they have to say. Well, you know, it just, it just really rolled off, you know, your lips, Noble Society, which is a, a group, a retinue of wonderful musicians that represent different parts of the world, and we came together in nobility, you know, sort of to sort of take over the world and make the world a better place, block by block, through music, through inspiration, you know, bringing together reggae and hip-hop in a way that you know, is mystical, in a way that can reach the hearts of um, our youth and help curve the minds and give them something, substance, something to them, inspire to, to be better and to think better so this way the whole world can be a better place. That's what Noble Society, that's why I say it's all in the name. You know, we hope that you know, through music we can create a Noble Society, a better place for everyone. Noble Society. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Brother, what inspires you to do what you do on that stage? Well, my name is Jadan Blackamore, and I represent Noble Society, which is my band live band, live music, reggae music, hip hop music, flamenco music, mixture, everything, dubstep, everything. And what inspires what inspires Noble Society is life itself in, in the USA and America. Life in America. That's what that that's like to, 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 to make a long story short. Life in America. And I say that because, you know, we experience so much. It's such a, I live in New York City, you know, so in Brooklyn. So I'm open and exposed to so much. There's so much going on out there, you know, that people, you know, people take for granted when they're not you know, when when you leave the city. You come back in the city, you realize well, the energy that the New York has with all its diverse people of all different nationalities, you know. And I'm inspired by the struggle of the of the, the poor and the needy people around the world. The plight of the needy and the poor around the world is what inspires me. And the struggle has been going on with my nation, my African nation, for so many years that it's just uh, it's just like. It's almost like it comes, it comes naturally to want to speak out 
against you know the injustices that we see the many injustices that we see in our communities and around the world you know so through my music I like to have fun and we like to bring up you know a lot of energy to it and have people dance and stuff and so the music is very rhythmic and it has a lot of deep bass and drums but there's always a message because it's very important for us to to to, to, to engage people into something a, a little alternative to what they already have out there and to engage them into something that's thought provoking to wake them up so I feed off of seeing I was awakened during that. such deep and lofty questions. Yeah. Well, this beautiful day is inspiring me. Um, little kids with cute smiles inspires me, but I mean, <laughs> out here hustling with the guitar, um, survival is inspiring me a lot of the times. You know, New York City, you stop moving, I mean, good things may be out on the street, you know, mm -hmm. or you might not be eating. So, I mean, that's, uh, Keeping it moving, surviving. Yeah. yeah. Um, Gotta go with the flow. Set your pace in the rat race. Set your pace. Wow. I, I think I could use that. Yeah. Set your pace in the rat race. Yeah, I just left the rat race. <laughs> exactly. I just left the rat race. Now so create I, your own flow, you know? See, that's what I need. That's the inspiration that I'm talking about. Yeah.